Last night, a look back, and this tonight, a look ahead of the next year. Here with a preview is our Kate Flexter. Kate. Well, Ray, from traffic to health care to politics, 2017 is sure to bring some major changes to the Sun Coast. Here's a look at the top stories to watch in the new year. Number seven, it's off to the races. Hey, ready, up. After years of preparation, Nathan Benderson Park will host the World Rowing Championship. More than a thousand athletes from all around the world will compete, drawing a crowd of 40,000 people. The cost of hosting the event? More than $8 million. It's sure to be the Suncoast sporting event of the year. Number six, construction chaos. Just in time for the rowing championships, the long-awaited diverging diamond project is set for completion this fall. The $74.5 million interchange will accommodate increased traffic along I-75 and University Parkway. But the work isn't over yet. Manatee County is planning to launch similar projects on I-75 at State Road 64 and 70 this summer. Number five, new life for the colony. Once a destination for the rich and famous, the Colony Beach and Tennis Club is uninhabitable after closing its doors six years ago. But one developer hopes to change that with a five-star 360-room resort in its place. Demolition has already begun and construction is just around the corner. Longboat Key voters still need to approve the project, though, and some wonder if the colony can ever truly reclaim its glory. I don't think that the atmosphere that was created in the 70s and the 80s can be created in this century. Number four, Medical Melee. The corporation that owns the aging Venice Regional Hospital and Sarasota Memorial Hospital separately sought state approval to build a new hospital in Venice. Both were denied, both reapplied, and then both were approved. You can bet we'll see a race to break ground and open the doors on a new facility for South County. Meanwhile, the city of Northport, fruitless in its own efforts to attract a hospital, plans to petition Florida legislators to end the certificate of need application process. Number three, breaking the cycle. Homelessness and drug addiction continue to plague the Sun Coast, leading many to a revolving door between the streets and jail. But now a first of its kind jail diversion program offers a way out. Spearheaded by Judge Erica Quartermain, the court will begin next month. What we want is care, not crisis. When we keep people in the court system, we keep them in a crisis situation. Number two, open carry. State Senator Greg Stubbe is once again advocating for change to the rules of concealed carry permits, this time in one all-encompassing bill that would allow the 1.6 million people who have concealed weapons licenses to openly carry handguns. It would also allow them to be armed at legislative meetings, local government meetings, elementary and secondary schools, airport passenger terminals, and college and university campuses. It's a proposal that's already ruffling some feathers. I think people have the right through the Second Amendment to be able to carry and do that. This is almost like the OK Corral bill, if you would. And the number one story of 2017, the transition of power. After months of one of the most heated presidential campaigns in history, President-elect Donald Trump is taking over the White House, vowing to keep his campaign promises. We will finally end illegal immigration. We will construct a great wall. And by the way, we are repealing and replacing Obama. And with a Republican-controlled Congress, those proposals could very well be within reach. A lot is in store for 2017, so be sure to follow us here and on the web as these stories develop. Yeah, many more stories to develop. We'll discuss others after this.